Before we get started, do me a favor and smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. Are you one of the people that bought Theta back when it was an ERC-20 token on the Ethereum network? And you never got your TNT20 tokens when the Theta blockchain went live in March of 2019? If so, this video is for you. If you were following JSNP4 back in the months leading up to the cutover from the Ethereum network to the Theta blockchain, you would have been made aware of a procedure that involved installing the Theta mobile wallet on your phone and your new Theta TNT20 tokens would appear in that wallet. Well, some people apparently missed that, so they're sitting on Theta tokens that they never got on the Theta network. And here's what's going on with that. The Theta team, when they were preparing for the cutover to the Theta mainnet, for every wallet that contained Theta tokens on the Ethereum network, there was a corresponding wallet created on the Theta mainnet and the number of tokens that were in the Ethereum wallet were put into the new Theta wallet and there was a airdrop of 5T fuel for every one Theta token also put into that wallet and that wallet is just sitting out there waiting for you to access your theta tokens so the good news is the way you access that wallet is you open your theta wallet using the web wallet and you go to the private key tab and you open that wallet using the private key what's my private key you ask well it's the same as the private key to your Ethereum wallet. So all you need to do is use that private key from your Ethereum wallet to open the Theta wallet and your tokens are there waiting for you. They've been there ever since March of 2019 when the Theta blockchain went live. And make sure that you read this warning and do what it tells you to do before you enter your private key. This message here means enter a temporary session password because you are opening it with a private key. You need to supply a temporary session password and that's just a password that you make up on the fly and you will be prompted for it when you try to do anything transfer out or anything of that nature you will be prompted to supply that password that you entered as your temporary session password so once you've entered your private key here and supplied your temporary session password here you will click down here to unlock the wallet once the wallet is open, you'll find your tokens waiting for you and you can transfer them out, stake them, do whatever you want to do with them. Well, that's a wrap for this presentation, so cue the music.
If you enjoyed the video, then hit that thumbs up for me, and I'll see you in the next video.